Let's cut in a floor box. First thing you wanna do, push the wires down, get them out of the way so you don't cut them. Trace it out, then comes the scariest part of my life, cutting into this finished floor with a roto zip. Notice how I anchor it up against my leg all the way around. Now let's make sure the box fits. Of course it does. That hole may look a little big, but you'll see why. It's always a good idea to pre-drill all the holes. You don't want a screw to break off in that extremely hard wood. Now that the prep work is done, it's time to shove the wires inside the box and screw it into place. A common question I get asked being such a small contractor is how do I land these jobs when I'm not the least expensive? The short answer is I offer financing. Do I personally finance it? No, I go through her. They help me because they offer the customer financing and they pay me in full once the job is complete. Financing gives me a 17% increase in getting the job and it also gives me a 33% increase on ticket sales. Now let's get back to work. Now it's time to strip the sheathing off the Romex. This box is metal. Make sure you hit that little green screw in the bottom to bond the box. Now it's time to strip the wires, make up the outlet. This cover is a little unique because it also screws into place. So you're going to want to pre-drill those holes as well. And this is the finished product. The cool thing about this box is it allows that silicone piece to slip out and then the cord plugs in and doesn't stick up at all under the couch or under a rug. 